Hi guys! Last week we talked about what authors do and what illustrators do. Authors write the words of a story and illustrators draw the pictures. We're going to look at a story today that has really great strong illustrations and we're going to talk about the illustrator of that story. Before we do, let's sing our song to remind us about what authors and illustrators do. So we'll start as an author with a pencil and we'll write the words, ready? The author writes the words, the author writes the words. Hi ho librario, the author writes the words. Now we're gonna add a verse about being an illustrator. Get your paintbrush, dip it in some paint. We're gonna draw a big picture. We're gonna sing the illustrator draws. You can sing with me. The illustrator draws, the illustrator draws. Hi ho librario, the illustrator draws. Very good job. The book we're reading today is called My Friend Rabbit. The author and illustrator is Eric Rothman. And do you see this? Remember what that is? That's the Caldecott Award for Best Illustrations of the Year. Every year, one book wins this award for having really beautiful illustrations. The other special thing about this book is there's some pages with no words, but the the thing we have to do is we have to look at the illustrations because the illustrations can help tell the story. So even though there's no words, I think we'll still be able to figure out what's going on. Let's see here. My friend Rabbit. My friend Rabbit means well, but whatever he does, wherever he goes, Trouble follows. Now it doesn't tell us what kind of trouble he got into, but can you see what happened? His airplane got stuck in that tree, right? Not to worry, Mouse. I've got an idea. What do you think his idea is? How would you get the airplane out? Okay, so this is a page with no words. We've got to look carefully. There's Mr. Mouse. There's his friend Rabbit. Wonder what this is. <gasps> An elephant. What's that? Now he's bringing a rhinoceros and a hippo. Why is he putting all those animals on top of each other? Oh my goodness. Do you think this is going to work? Oh, and you know what? We gotta turn our book. This animal pile is so high. Here it starts with the elephant. Oh. And the rhinoceros and the hippo. Oh, who's up here? There's a goose and a deer and a bear and a crocodile. The plane was just out of reach. Rabbit said, not to worry mouse, I've got an idea. back around here. So Rabbit held Squirrel and Squirrel held me. But then <laughs> no words but we can see there's little duckies running out of the way. What do you think is gonna happen? Oh, we can see they 
all fell down. Crash. The animals were not happy. I wouldn't be happy either. But rabbit means well. And he is my friend. Even if whatever he does. Thank you, Mouse. Rabbit, stop hugging me. Wherever he goes. I can't see. Trouble follows. <gasps> what trouble did they get in? Now they're stuck in the tree with the plane. Not to worry, Mouse. I have an idea. Uh-oh. Do you think it's a good idea? How would you get out of that tree? If you want, you can be an illustrator and draw a picture of how you think rabbit and mouse are going to get out of that tree. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.